Your, your Majesty, presenting it let me repeat a welcome to you and to Her Majesty, the Queen Consorts, on this solemn occasion. Members of both Houses of Parliament gather here to express our deep sympathy for the loss we have all sustained in the death of our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth. We have seen that this is a loss that has felt around the world. It is a loss to the United Kingdom, the overseas territories, the Crown dependencies and many countries over which she reigned. It is a loss to the entire Commonwealth which she did so much to nurture. It is a loss to all of us, but we know, most of all, it is a loss to you, your majesty, and to the royal family. Newspapers have been filled with photographs of her late majesty since the news broke. The most touching have been the glimpses into the family life, which we usually kept sheltered from public view. Deep as our grief is, we know yours is deeper. We offer our heartfelt sympathy to you and all the royal family. We know that there is nothing we can say in the praise of our late Queen, your mother, that you will not already know. Over the past days, members of the House have spoken of their encounters with Queen Elizabeth. They have spoken of her sense of duty, her wisdom, her kindness, her humour, how she touched the lives of hundreds of thousands of their constituents in her visits to every part of this country. The words have been heartfelt. She sat in this historic hall, as you sit now on many occasions. Some of those occasions were to celebrate milestones in her own reign. The addresses to celebrate her silver, golden and diamond jubilees shared a common thread that our constitutional monarchy is a symbol of stability in an ever-changing world. 